Hi guys, this is Mario from Blobcore Studio and today I will show you how to create pickup and one common mistake that people usually do. So first uh, let's add this heart to our scene. Uh, this heart will be pickup. So let's uh, add a tag. I will call it uh, pickup. You can call it whatever you want, so add that tag and next thing add a box collider 2D. Now if I go to play mode, I will collide with my heart and I don't uh, want that. So I will use this is a trigger option, so it will be a trigger. And now if I go to play mode, Unity uh, will detect collision, but I will not physically collide with this. And let's uh, move it uh, on our heart on Z by one. So when we pass, we are in front of this heart. Okay. Now let's uh, go to our scripts, to our player script. Uh, for arrow, we used on collision enter 2D, but for trigger, we will, we will use void on trigger enter 2D. And this is how Unity will detect collision with a uh, trigger. Next thing, I need a reference to my pickup object so collider 2d other and now we will check if other game object has a tag pickup and then first uh, we want to check if our health is Full. So if if we have maximum HP, uh, but if we don't, we want to increase our uh, HP. So if uh, our player stats that that health is less than player stats that uh, max HP. So if we don't have full HP, then we want to increase our health player stats that health plus equals let's say 1 and we want to deactivate our pickup object so other that game object that set uh, that set active to false and else we don't want to do anything so return okay now uh, uh, let's check our arrow damage our arrow damage is 2 so now we have full HP it will go through our heart, nothing will happen. But if we take damage and go back to our heart, see we gained uh, that one uh, HP. And uh, now we made the mistake uh, that I was talking about uh, because our heart is a static game object. So let's explain something about Unity Physics. You have static game objects and dynamic game objects. Static game objects uh, have uh, some kind of collider and don't have rigid body. And dynamic uh, objects uh, have some collider and have uh, rigid body. And Unity doesn't expect from you to change something on static uh, collider. So you 
uh, don't want to move static providers, you don't want to rotate, uh, you don't want to enable and uh, disable them, you don't want to make changes from the start of your game because uh, on the start Unity will uh, calculate all informations about statics and hold that informations in a cache and it won't uh, render uh, that informations every frame and uh, if you make some change in any static uh, collider or object then unity uh, will need recalculate all informations from all static objects so uh, we want this heart to be dynamic because we uh, deactivate our hearts. So we will add rigid body to B and we will turn uh, off gravity, make gravity zero. Now if we Play everything is the same. Great, but uh, Unity uh, will not recalculate uh, all informations when we deactivate this uh, hub. This is all for today. If you like this video, please share uh, and subscribe, and see you next time.